2D Design Video Tutorial 6, 3D Revolve. In this tutorial we're going to look at another 3D effects tool called 3D Revolve. So I'm going to set up the page and this time we're going to have an A4 page and we're going to make it portrait. Now the 3D Revolve tool basically takes a two-dimensional design and revolves it around an axis to make it into a 3D object. For this tutorial I think we'll draw a champagne flute uh, it's a good example of, of, of how 3D Revolve works. So we actually only need to draw half of the champagne flute and then we're going to revolve it around the centre of the drawing to create a 3D object. So, like I said, I'm going to draw half of the champagne flute, so I'm going to just use the line and path tool to create half of the flute. The first vertical line I've drawn is basically going to be the centre of the champagne flute and then I'm just using the path tool now to create the base of the flute. Then I can just gently curve it up to the, the, the top. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice um, and a few times you may have to undo and redo your path and then just create the top of the flute and delete the lines that you don't need. OK, so now you can select the whole shape that you've drawn. Select the 3D Revolve tool, which is this one. You may have to open up the menu and select that. And then, as you can see, we've got a step angle of 30 degrees. And that basically means that it's going to redraw this shape every 30 degrees around an axis. Uh, we're going to leave all these settings as they are and click OK. And then draw a centre line right down the middle and this is the axis that the, the, the shape will revolve around. And you're happy with the line release and there's a 3D shape that is created. Just like the isometric tool that we used in the last tutorial we need to select the whole object again and explode it into fully into simple objects. We can then click continue and then this will allow us to use the delete tool to go around and delete any lines that we don't need. Now remember to be really careful when you're doing this because you can only undo once. So take your time and zoom in as much as you can. That will make it a little bit easier for you. We're just going to speed up the rest of this tutorial just so you can very quickly see how I've gone about deleting these lines. And I'm not going to delete all the lines because this is a champagne flute, it is made of glass, so you'll be able to see through a lot of the material as well. So I'm going to leave some of the lines in just to make it look a bit more realistic. nearly finished and there you go the finished 3d revolved champagne flute